Hey, you Tauruses, welcome to April 2019. Hope you guys are doing well and you guys survived that super full moon on March 20th with Mercury retrograde plus a solar flare. Holy crap, <laughs> like that was intense. Okay, so already two cards have popped out for you guys. We have the Five of Wands, which is all about an unstable um, foundation full of conflict, okay? Conflict involving at least four to five, I'm even hearing three to five uh, other people that's just been way too much. And mainly the one person who's causing a lot of the conflict, who's really stirring the pot, this is just a mind game for them. This is just something, they're just playing games. They're not actually um, using their intuition or their common sense. This is just pure games for them because of their uh, lack of maturity, okay? So it's on you and another person to open your third eye and kind of pull yourself back from uh, being so ingrained in it. Pull yourself back so you can have a wider perspective and be like, this person who's really uh, controlling a lot of the conflict here, they're just bored and this is their way of creating some sort of drama and some sort of uh, spark in their in their miserable lives, essentially. But what this is doing is it's causing a lot of friction. It's forcing you to feel like you don't have a stable foundation. And because of it, you've gone really inward. It's almost like so it's making me think that in the past, you guys have been in this situation before because that's what Mercury Retrograde does. It brings back those past lessons that we think we're just over and done with. But no, no, we didn't learn the lesson. So it comes back to be like, actually, what are you here to learn? Last time, Taurus, you guys pulled yourselves out of the situation um, and you were like, I either need to stay and fight or I need to run away. So now this situation is coming back up to be like, are you going to make the same decision because last time you either ran away or you stayed and you fought and do the opposite this time around. So if last time you were like, screw this, I'm out, this time actually stay and fight and be like, listen, this isn't right. This is causing a lot of drama and conflict in my life or vice versa. If last time you stay and you fought and you you beat a dead horse, now's your time to just say, listen, this is enough. Goodbye. Okay. So conflict, creating an unstable foundation for the Tauruses, April, 2019. Okay. I'm hearing 2015 is when this happened last. So it is time to move on. I, it's time to move on. So I'm thinking that last time in 2015, um, five, six, seven, eight, which makes sense. It would have been, 2015 would have been um, an eight universal year. So there was going to be a lot of power struggles there and a lot of um, over overbearing feelings of authority and control um, and just really over possessiveness within that situation within those relationships that may not be the same players so now it is time to just say listen I'm not going through the same crap that I went through in 2015 I'm moving on I'm building a bridge I'm getting over with I'm getting over it and then the queen of pentacles is here to symbolize how that would change you guys into your true earth signs which is all about actually it's funny because it reminds me of um this quote i just saw that jim carrey i know there's so many jim carrey quotes but he said if their absence brings you peace then you didn't lose them and the meme was for all earth signs it's like every earth sign knows that if you know they can cut people off very easily, depending on what your moon sign is. If you have a water moon sign um, or a more fixed moon sign, what's more fixed than the Taurus, um, but a more fixed moon sign, you may emotionally hold on to these uh, dead, re dead relationships. But as an earth sign across the board, you're going to know that, you know, it's time to just get these people out of your lives because you've been giving a lot of your power away to them. Um, and that is a huge contributor to your finances right now. So your finances will be a direct reflection of where you're putting your power out. So if you find that your money is lacking or, you know, you're worried about money, that's a reflection of the power struggles that are going on with this conflict involving three to five people. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Let's let's see what we can do to fix this, okay? Because the full moon, the Mercury retrograde, and the solar flare actually gave us an opportunity to uh, transform. It was like a catalyst for transformation. And the full moon being in Libra is balancing out your relationships. So this drama has to come in order for you to recognize and re and release what what relationships aren't working for you and to bring to light the aspects of the relationship that are just not working with your higher self, with the with the bigger picture spiritually. Okay, so let's get started, Taurus. Okay, let's shake it 
out. Because spring is, April is an intense month already with airy season. So we got to We got to just focus on our breath this month for sure. Okay. So this month, this is the situation, okay? You guys just getting to a place of independence, financial domination. Taurus, you guys rule money, okay? A Taurus rules money. You guys rule the second house. You rule money, possessions, your self-esteem, values. That means that a lot of the times, Tauruses, Taurians will have collectibles. They'll have like my mother-in-law, she has Royal Daltons. My uh, my Taurus niece, she collects food. <laughs> my daughter, she collects love. <laughs> so Taur Tauruses have collections. What I'm urging you guys to do this month is to look at your possessions, look at your collections and actually really consider it. Do the Marie condo do they bring you joy do they not bring you joy because your collections are a reflection on your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself your valuables and your your finances are a reflection of your self-esteem so if you're collect if you collect um let's say you're a hoarder and you're collecting junk that's a reflection on how you feel about yourself if you're collecting stamps that's a reflection. Maybe you wish that you could travel more. If you're collecting coins, that's a reflection. Maybe you wish that you could, you know, have more financial abundance. What you collect is a direct reflection on the values in your life and therefore your self-esteem and how much you value yourself, okay? So this month, Taurus, is all about getting your value up, getting how you feel about yourself back up. And you do that by looking at your collectibles, looking at your possessions, and reminding yourself of your abundance because there's a lot of of collectibles out there that are worth a lot of money and although you're not willing to part with it even to just do the research and be like wow like my camp my um coin collection is really worth something that's going to make you feel more empowered because you know you have that that stack of of um safety behind you okay so this is your month to do it take a look at what you've collected take a look at what you own and really put value back on it do the research you know uh compare prices on ebay and just see what you're really working with and if you're realizing that you know your your mcdonald's toy collection from 1988 is now worth a million dollars maybe you can decide to part and up your your financial gain through that in, in abundance so the obstacle and the aid funnily enough to your financial independence and dominance is new money okay so for me when i read pentacles um especially because as i'm sure you know my following is mainly women when i read money mo more times than not i read power you know i just read power straight up because money is very empowering for women um that's why i find that a lot of women including myself will kind of deviate and and give their their financial power to their husband and to their spouse you know oh i i don't deal with the bills my husband takes care of it and then it's not until we get divorced where we're like wait what bills do we even have like what are we doing so for me money equals power especially for women this power going on with uh, you guys this month is needed in order for you to feel financially independent, in order for you to feel uh, dominating, in, in order for you to feel authentic and authoritative and feel like you finally have everything figured out. But it's the obstacle and the aid. So your money is the obstacle and the aid to your, to your uh, financial independence, which is so obvious, but... I think that we do forget because especially as a Taurus, um, spending, we can disconnect, right? The Taurus can really disconnect with their spending. It feels so good to spend that, you know, an hour passes and you're like, holy crap, I just spent $100, right? So really watching everything that you spend. For instance, right now, I'm only buying, um, I'm only supporting off of my clients. So for instance, I have um, two amazing clients that do uh, called Beautiful Strands and they do all natural uh, black hair care products. So I'm only purchasing my products from them now. Uh, you know, I have a shirt in the mail coming from a client who is just locally owned, small black, uh, black, small business owner, black owned business, things like that. So try to put your money in places that you support. If you don't really support, you know, 
monopolies like Walmart, then don't buy there. If you don't support, you know, this area, that area, that country, this product, don't shop there. Really figure out the source of your products and really figure out the source of where you're putting your money because where you're putting your money this month, Taurus, is coming right back. So if you're putting your money into something that you don't even support or that, you know, is unethically sourced, that's the energy that you're getting right back there. So vote with your dollar and that will empower you this month 100%. It's also like being conscious of where you're spending, right? And doing the work behind it, it'll just completely change and shift your perspective on money and the power of your dollar. And it feels incredible. When you have that small business owner where you know that your money is, is feeding that direct family instead of padding the pockets of some multi-billionaire, it just, it feels good right, right here. It feels real good. Okay, subconsciously, not the best energy subconsciously you guys are feeling very pinned down but as i always mention the swords represent your own thoughts so yeah you're pinned down but it's mainly what you're thinking about a certain situation this conflict um which is also a representation of the lack of power that you have so if somebody especially this person who's just playing games with your emotions right now and is, is stirring the pot just for that that drama that means that you're, you've are you really lost a lot of power when it comes to that person where they don't even have the level of respect to create a conflict that justifies their behavior. You know what I mean? Like it'd be one thing if they actually had qualms about something and that's the reason why they're creating this conflict involving three to five people. But the fact that they're just doing it as a head game just goes to show that they don't actually respect anybody's time or anybody's emotional energy at all. It's just purely for them. And if they're able to latch onto you like that, it's a representation of how you're feeling. Because if you were strong and empowered, it wouldn't it wouldn't even hit your aura. It would not even be able to, to come into your energy field because it's kind of like the weakest link right now, unfortunately, um, because you, you're so closely related to your self-esteem your money is so closely related to your self-esteem your self-esteem is a little bit on the low side right now because the money isn't flowing as abundantly as a Taurus should allow it to like a Taurus should just always be a multi-millionaire you know just always have a flow and it's not always about money um but for a Taurus I feel like I can talk about money without somebody being like it's not always about money because like I mentioned before, money equals power. So yeah, <laughs> when it comes to the Taurus and when it comes to April 2019, it's going to be about money. Okay. So you guys are thinking that you need to change. You need a shift because this fire sign, this young fire sign is the reason why you're now recognizing that you need um, to have more independence and have more authority and autonomy, especially financially, and feel more abundant with your financial and your and your power. So you you want to make a shift. You want to completely change your thinking. You want everything to change. The Wheel of Fortune card, in my opinion, is like winning the lottery. Essentially, when the Wheel of Fortune card pops up in any of my readings, it's equivalent, in my opinion, to winning the lottery in the way where you can have anything that you want. Just imagine, you know, like if 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 money was the reason that you stopped doing this, pretend and, and assume you've won the lottery. All the resources are there. Everything that you've said you can't do because of this, the Wheel of Fortune says, actually, here you go. So all it takes is just looking around in different areas and saying, okay, I want this to change and I have that resource. I want this to change and I have that resource. Resource. Keep in mind, guys, that you are directly across from the eighth house um, in the astrological wheel. Uh, the second house is right across from the eighth house and the eighth house is other people's money. So you actually do have that resource as well. You're able to tap into other, other people's money and a lottery is other people's money, you know, other people's resources, your partner's resources, you know, um, your partner's money, things like that. You have access this month. You can do what you need to do, but it's all about empowering yourself by looking at what you already have and showing gratitude for it and distracting yourself and pulling yourself away and moving on from this conflict involving three to five people. Because like I mentioned before, this conflict is just to distract you from your empowerment, from your growth. Because that full moon did come in and create a, a catalyst for change. And that person who's creating the mind games, they sense that. And they're like, they're, I'm going to lose what, I, what I've gained from the Taurus. I'm going to lose that. So they're scrambling. 
they're scrambling and that's why it's creating a lot of conflict okay so you guys right now Tauruses, you guys have always been so supportive. You guys support others like it's your sole responsibility. You guys are the guardians of the Zodiac. You're so dependable, so dependable. For instance, um, I just started a new job. I needed my Taurus mother-in-law to babysit the baby. And this is like the one time where she can't. And she is so stressed about it. She's more stressed than I am. <laughs> She's literally more stressed than I am. And that's because at her core as a Taurus, she needs to be relied on. She needs to be known that she's dependable. And 100%, I still depend on her, 100%. But because she can't be there, she can't be that guardian that she, that she truly feels she is, it, it's killing her. It's killing her inside. So keep that in mind, guys. You guys are here to be guardians, you guys are here to empower others, but you can't do that. You can't make other people feel safe and protected and feel like you're that all encompassing guardian for them if you don't feel that within yourself. And financial independence and financial domination over your over yourself will create that authority that allows you to be the guardian that you want to be, okay? Friends and family emotionally doing very well. Friends and family emotionally doing very well. Um, there is some emotion that friends and family are hiding from you. It's a sadness. It's I'm seeing blue. It's almost like a pretty deep depression, a deep sadness that they're hiding from you. Um, they want it to end. And I think, th I think the reason they're hiding it from you is because if they bring it to you, it makes it very real. Because like I mentioned before, you're the guardian, you're gonna feel like you need to do something to, to make it right. That's just the type of person that you are. However, because of that, there's fear there that your family and friends can't come to you because they know that this is something that they have to do alone. So they're not gonna bring it to you. I think also maybe you have some stuff going on as well, maybe with this young fire sign where they see like they're naturally picking up on, on your sadness. And although emotionally you feel great, there is still that level of sadness that you're kind of cloaking um, with emotional happiness, with this with a smile. So although you're smiling and you're happy and you're showing up, family and friends are still um, sensing a little bit of sadness from this fire sign um, and from your, your financial situation and also your thought, you know, subconsciously you feeling like this, they are picking up on that. They are thinking up on, picking up on your thoughts that are really holding you down. And that's why they're not coming to you. But they really do need your guidance. So it's on you guys, Tauruses, to get, if you want to be that guardian to your family and friends, it's on you guys to empower yourself. Get yourself to an emotional state where you're able and capable to let in new energy, okay? Hope and fear. So hope and fear is this young water sign. So that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It feels masculine, but could definitely be like a tomboy, like a female tomboy. This person is your hope and fear, meaning when it comes to your financial independence, there's a fear there. So you hope for financial independence um, because of this water sign, but you also fear it as well. I think maybe in some way, this water sign is empowering you. And that's why you feel like if you were to gain power somewhere else, maybe it would shift your relationship with this person. So you're a little bit more subconsciously hesitant about empowering yourself because of that fear there. Although you do hope that you could have more financial independence to help out this water sign, you also still feel like there's some fear that if you were to gain that, that new money, that new power, it would shift the relationship here. So you just want to be aware of that because no matter what, like we are evolving creatures. So no matter what, that relationship is always going to be shifting. It might as well shift into a more empowered position where you're not reliant on them for, for their power, for them to empower you or make you feel um, better about yourself. Okay. So the outcome, Taurus, what's going to happen this month, April 2019, is you're going to recognize that something has to change. You know, the, the conflict and the unstable foundation, just not feeling right um, within your home space, not feeling right within your center, which is so important for, for a Taurus. You guys need to feel very grounded and very safe and secure in your grounding element. So you're like, I, I got to move on. I got to get more... Um, more present with who I'm putting in my uh, sphere 
and start giving out power in more positive ways that's more conscious, like more conscious spending, that creates a huge shift that brings in this young earth sign, just like yourself. So it could be an inner child, inner child healing, which is, I think, usually the most important thing to do after Mercury retrograde is because Mercury retrograde reminds you of that thing that happened in childhood with that ex or with that ex best friend or with that old boss uh, that reminds you, oh yeah, that's how I felt. And then really urges you to clear it by saying, huh, I remember, but I'm remembering it without anger. I'm remembering it without pain. I'm just remembering it. It is what it is. And I've grown from it. So this could be your inner child, or it's another young earth sign, younger than you, either emotionally, mentally, or physically, earth sign being Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And what that does, it also brings in this young water sign. So that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of shifts with these two people. Lots of shifts with these two people, okay? The young earth sign and the young water sign are almost requiring you to create those shifts and to start counting your blessings because it ends up just helping out everybody. But essentially, Taurus, if you want this financial domination this month, this is a time to do it. And like, I'm, I'm almost at a point now where I've been doing the research. You know, I've been reading the spiritualization of money. I've been reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which just blows your mind, just being more conscious with my spending. And I'm doing this so that I can create a masterclass for, for women and financial independence, because I'm starting to realize that it is so needed. Like all of my clients are like, I don't know what I'm doing with money. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. Okay. Love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing April. Kill it. Remember that you guys are happy, healthy, wealthy at all times. Taurus, you guys flow abundance. All you have to do is open yourself up to it and don't block yourself uh, to that success level that you want to be at, that you naturally gravitate toward. You guys are so incredible with money and with numbers and with finances and with looking at things and finding the value. So this is really the month to take that natural gift, that natural talent and use it to your advantage, right? So love you guys so much. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to send me an email or a message down below if you want a personalized reading, which of course includes astrology and numerology. Love you guys so much. And I will see you in May. Wow. <laughs> Bye, Taurus.